Ukraine's vice prime minister said on Monday that internet terminals set by Elon Musk, which were designed to work with satellites orbiting in space to provide online access, had arrived in the country. One of Mr. Musk's companies, SpaceX, has deployed thousands of satellites into low Earth orbit over the past three years as part of its business to beam high-speed internet service from more than 100 miles above the planet. Satellite internet services like Mr. Musk's, which is known as Starlink, can be useful in parts of the world where people cannot easily access conventional internet providers, whether because of technical limitations, government restrictions, or other barriers. There have been a number of internet disruptions in Ukraine since the Russian invasion began last week. On Saturday, Vice Prime Minister Mikhailo Fedorov of Ukraine, who is also the Minister of Digital Transformation, wrote to Mr. Musk on Twitter to ask for Starlink stations. While you try to colonize Mars, Russia tried to occupy Ukraine. Mr. Fedorov wrote, while your rockets successfully land from space, Russian rockets attack Ukrainian civil people. Mr. Musk, a billionaire entrepreneur who is also the chief executive of the electric car maker Tesla, said that the Starlink service was now active in Ukraine and that he was sending more of the terminal's users would need to access a satellite internet signal through the system. Mr. Fedorov posted a photo on Twitter on Monday that appeared to show a military truck loaded with Starlink terminals. Starlink. Here, he wrote and thanked Mr. Musk. You are most welcome. Mr. Musk wrote back. It was unclear as of early Tuesday how many Starlink terminals had arrived in the country, where they would be available, or who would be allowed to use them. SpaceX did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Editors picks stronger muscles in three seconds a day. This social club runs on crypto tokens and vibes mistakes happen. In the kitchen, that can be the best thing. SpaceX's internet service Starlink is available in Ukraine and more terminals are being sent to the country, according to the company's CEO, Elon Musk. The conflict-hit nation has seen internet disruptions with Russian troops advancing and missiles hitting key infrastructure. Monitoring group NetBlocks said Thursday that disruptions had been tracked across much of Ukraine, including capital city Kyiv. On Saturday, Musk was asked by a Ukrainian government official he would provide more of his company's Starlink stations to the country. While you try to colonize Mars, Russia tries to occupy Ukraine. While your rockets successfully land from space, Russian rockets attack Ukrainian civil people. We ask you to provide Ukraine with Starlink stations and to address sane Russians to stand Mikhailo Fedorov, the vice prime minister of Ukraine and minister of digital transformation said. Musk responded late Saturday via Twitter saying, Starlink service is now active in Ukraine. More terminals en route. Starlink ultimately wants to provide the world with faster internet, starting by improving internet access in parts of the world that are currently served by broadband providers. It allows people to connect to the internet via a satellite dish that is placed on or near a person's property. The internet is beamed down to the dish via a network of Starlink satellites that have been put into orbit by SpaceX and ground stations. Starlink explained, Everything to know about Elon Musk's satellite internet venture. When you think of billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk, chances are high that you think of his electric car company Tesla, his space exploration venture SpaceX or his stint hosting Saturday Night Live, to say nothing of his history of stirring up controversy on social media or smoking weed with Joe Rogan. Maybe you just know him as one of the richest people on Earth. Something you might be less familiar with is a venture called Starlink, which aims to sell internet connections to almost anyone on the planet by way of a growing network of private satellites orbiting overhead. After years of development within SpaceX and after securing nearly $885.5 million in grant funds from the Federal Communications Commission at the end of 2020, Starlink picked up the pace in 2021. In January, after three years' worth of successful launches, the project had surpassed 1,000 satellites delivered into orbit. One year and dozens of successful launches later, Starlink boasts nearly 2,000 functional satellites orbiting overhead. Starlink's business is accelerating as well. In February last year, Musk's company disclosed that Starlink was serving more than 10,000 customers. Now, 
after expanding pre-orders to even more potential customers, releasing a second-gen home internet satellite dish, and exploring the possibility of providing in-flight Wi-Fi for passenger aircraft. Musk says that Starlink has shipped more than 100,000 satellite internet terminals to customers in 14 countries. That list includes Ukraine, where Musk says additional satellite internet terminals are now en route amid the Russian invasion. So, has Starlink gone global? The full scope of the service is unclear, but the company appears to be on its way. During a talk at Mobile World Congress last June, Musk told an audience that Starlink would be available worldwide starting in August. The regional availability would, would depend on regulatory approval. In September, Musk tweeted that Starlink would exit its initial beta phase in October, indicating that the service was continuing to ramp up and expand. Even so, the budding broadband provider still faces a backlog of prospective customers waiting to receive equipment and start service. Starlink isn't without its controversies, either. Members of the scientific community have raised concerns about the impact of Starlink's low-Earth orbit satellites on night sky visibility. Meanwhile, satellite internet competitors including Viasat, HughesNet, and Amazon's Project Kuiper have taken notice of Starlink's momentum too, prompting regulatory jousting and attempts to slow Musk down. We'll continue to monitor Starlink's progress in 2022. For now, here's everything you should know about it. What is Starlink, exactly? Technically a division within SpaceX, Starlink is also the name of the spaceflight company's growing network, or constellation, of orbital satellites. The development of that network began in 2015, with the first prototype satellites launched into orbit in 2018. In the years since, SpaceX has deployed nearly 2,000 Starlink satellites into orbit across dozens of successful launches, the most recent of which took place on Feb 3 and delivered another 49 satellites into orbit. That brings the total number of functional satellites in the constellation above 2,000, though some of those satellites are prototypes or non-operational units that aren't functioning parts of the network. How fast is Starlink's internet service? Users can expect to see data speeds vary from 50 to 150 megabits per second and latency from 20 to 40 milliseconds in most locations over the next several months, Starlink's website says, while also warning of brief periods of no connectivity at all. As we launch more satellites, install more ground stations, and improve our networking software, data speed, latency and uptime will improve dramatically. To that end, Musk tweeted in February of last year that he expects the service to double its top speeds to 300 Mbps by the end of 2021. Now, in 2022, claims like those are difficult to evaluate as speeds will vary depending on time and location. Last year, CNET's John Kim signed up for the service at his home in California and recently began testing it out at a variety of locations. At home, he averaged download speeds around 78 Mbps and latency around 36 Ms. You can see more of his first impressions in the video posted above or by clicking here. How much does Starlink cost? Starlink is now accepting orders on a first-come, first-served basis, so you'll need to request service and then wait your way through the backlog. During its beta in 2021, Starlink said that some pre-orders could take as long as six months to fulfill. The cost of the service is billed at $1.99 per month, plus taxes and fees, plus an initial payment of $1.499 for the mountable satellite dish and router that you'll need to install at home. $1.99 per month is a lot for an internet connection, especially one that isn't nearly as fast as a fiber connection, but Musk is betting that the cost will be worth it for people who have thus far lived without access to a reliably fast connection at all. SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell has said that she expects the $1.499 upfront cost of the receiver dish to come down in the coming years as SpaceX refines its dish design to lower production costs. The newest version of the dish, introduced with FCC approval in November, is smaller and less expensive to produce than the previous version, though customers will still need to pay an upfront fee of $1.499 to use it. In April last year, Shotwell also said that Starlink wanted to keep pricing as simple and transparent as possible and had no plans to introduce service tiers into the mix.
However, that approach seems to be changing in 2022, with the introduction of a new premium tier with a scan array that's twice as big as the standard plan and with download speeds ranging from 150-500 Mbps. That tier costs $500 per month, plus an initial payment of $2,500 for the equipment. Starlink is taking orders for that tier now and plans to launch the service later in 2022.